This is her second speech. She did her icebreaker speech just over a month ago. And this is her second speech, which focuses on the organisation of the speech, so having a clear beginning, middle, and end. The speech is entitled Too Much Information. So, with the speech entitled Too Much Information, please give a warm round of applause to Maria Semikovic.
there is no point uh, memorizing a lot of trivia that you can just look up. So just make use of to do these uh, diaries, uh, calendar reminders. So try this. Try this. Uh, do your laundry. Settle that invoice. Uh, call the city council, review the contract, cancel the conference call, go to a client meeting, post that letter, uh, buy the birthday present, reschedule your flight, uh, and uh, book the dentist appointment. So now how many of those 10 items can you recall now? <laughs> <laughs> how many of those be, be able to recall after my speech? Most people can manage between 4 or 6. So really, you might feel wrong writing things down, but it's really the only way to avoid the stress. Uh, and another important thing is to learn to give yourself some downtime. So try having no information days or at least hours where you don't read newspapers, don't check your I don't know, Twitter or Facebook, don't watch TV, nothing. And again, it requires a lot of self-discipline because what do you do after a hard day at work? Do you, like me, reach out automatically to your TV remote control? That's, that doesn't help. Uh, and a good way to give your brain some idle time is some outdoors activity or physical exercise or emotional interaction with your friends and family. Remember, Archimedes had his bathtub and Newton had his apple tree. So if you want to achieve clarity and go, let's see, beyond the clutter, you really have to, ironically, just not think for a while. So, in summary, information overload is a very tangible problem, but more often than not, it's really self-inflicted. So, eliminate any distractions, filter out and discard any information you don't need, and keep to a strict information diet learn to forget and not think for a while. It does require self-discipline and the procrastination, guilt, uh, curiosity, boredom, and anxiety all get in our way. But with information overload, you really have to be ruthless. It's a war. Either you kill it or you kill it.